Hi everyone, happy Tuesday, good morning. We are gonna continue our insect week. So we started talking about insects yesterday and we talked about the three ways you can tell that an insect is an insect if it has a head and on the head it has some antennae, if it has a thorax, which is the middle part of the body, and if it has an abdomen, which is the lower part of the body, those are the three parts of the body it needs to have. It has to have six legs, one, two, three, four, five, six. It has to have six legs on it. It has to have an exoskeleton. So this body on the outside is a hard shell. It's called an exoskeleton. So it doesn't have bones like we do. It has an exoskeleton, which is what its body's made of. And some insects have wings. So some of these insects that have all of these things will also have wings to help fly. Now this insect doesn't, this looks like an ant. So it does not have wings, but they will have wings. And we also talked about a type of beetle yesterday, which was the ladybug. So, and we reviewed some types of insects. So today we're gonna to show you some more pictures of insects. So here's some more pictures. We have a hopping insect, which is a grasshopper. We have a flying insect, which is a bumblebee. Hint, hint, that's what we're talking about today, bees. Our ladybug, the beetle that crawls, that's what we talked about yesterday. We have an ant, that's something else that crawls. We're gonna talk about that on Thursday. This is a mosquito. See that big stinger? They sting, that's a mosquito. Moths, we're gonna talk about moths and butterflies. A uh, regular house fly. They like to eat your food, land on your food. This is a butterfly we have down here, which are so beautiful to see. And this is a dragonfly. And these are all insects that fly. And then of course we have ones that crawl and we have another one that flies and we have ones that hop. Alrighty, so these are some insects we wanted to review. And of course today, we're talking about another insect, but before we do that, let's do our calendar and then we'll get into our insect. So let's see. We're gonna do our good morning song. Can we sing crisscross applesauce? Hands on our lap, eyes on our teacher, and listening ears on. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Good morning, Eladim. We're gonna do our months of the year song. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 12 months of the year. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. It's the month of May. And we're gonna do our days of the week song. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, today is Tuesday. If today's Tuesday, what's tomorrow? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wednesday. The year here is 2020. The year in Israel is 5780. The weather today is supposed to be a sunny day, so it's a great day to get outside and look for bugs. If you get a chance to go outside today, look for all kinds of bugs. Anything you can find, take pictures, send them to me. We can put them on our ECC webpage. Please look for lots of bugs. And the season is fall, winter, sp 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 spring. It's the season of spring, and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Today is Tuesday, May twelfth, the twelfth day of May. Alrighty, and my friends, today we are going to talk about bumblebees. How do we know a bumblebee is an insect? 
Well, we just talked about it. We reviewed it. It has a thorax, an abdomen. Oh, wait a minute. An abdomen, a thorax, a head, some antennae, one, two, three, four, five, six legs, and this insect has wings. So this is definitely an insect. A bumblebee is definitely an insect. What color is this bumblebee? Yellow and black, you said? That's right, it is. It's yellow and black. Bumblebees live in what we call a hive. They live in a hive. They have a queen bee, and all this is a honeycomb. These are each little cells in the honeycomb. And what the honeybees do is they collect pollen, they turn it into honey, and they put it in each one of these cells. So when we collect the honeycomb, we can squeeze it out, and what we can get from it is honey that you can buy at the store. And you can buy this, they take it from, they don't harm the bees when they take it, they just take their honeycomb. So they leave the bees to make more honey. So each one of these honeycombs is made of beeswax. So the bees make the wax that make all the comb and then they fill the comb with honey. And when you squeeze the wax, you can get the honey out. And then that way we save the bees, bees can make more honey for next time and we have honey to use at our house. So that's what makes honey. So. My friends, so a bee is an insect. Did you know that there are 4,000 different species of bees all over the world? So there's all types of bees. But today we're talking about the common honeybee. Um, and what do bees make that we eat? They make honey. So what are bees good for? Well, just to let you know, bees fly from flower to flower to flower to pollinate. So they pick up pollen from one flower, take it to another flower, and it helps all the flowers to grow. So they help pollinate all the flowers and it helps the flowers to grow. So they're really helpful in making flowers grow, plants grow, fruits and vegetables grow. They're, they're so useful in making so many things grow that it's so important that we save the bees and we, but we're careful and we you know treat our bees respectfully because we really need our bees. But what can happen if, it, if you bother a bee? If you're outside and you actually bother a bee, what can happen? Let me show you. Here's my little honey bee. And how do I know he's a bee? Well, he has one, two, three, four, five, six legs, and a, a thorax, an abdomen, a head, and some antennae. But what does he usually have down here? A stinger. So if you bother a bee, the bee can go, just ow, and it can sting you. So you really want to be careful. It's good to look at bees, but don't try to swat at the bees. If a bee comes near you, you're better off just walking away from the bee because the bee doesn't want to be bothered. If you bother the bee, he can definitely sting you. And of course, this bee again also is black and yellow. And we're going to make a bee of our own and I will show you. So I'm going to show you how we can make our own bumblebee today. First, we're going to take a piece of black paper. You can draw a small circle and a big circle on it and draw a face on your circle. We're also going to take a piece of white paper, almost the same color as the black, and we're going to put it right behind it. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut the big circle, cut the big circle out with our scissors. So we'll have a big circle and a little circle out of white. white. Once you do that, you'll have a big circle and a white circle. We can put those aside. Now we just need our black paper. We don't need our white paper anymore. You can throw the white paper away. We don't need that anymore. And we're gonna cut out our little head that we made. Alrighty, now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a glue stick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my head and I'm gonna glue it to the top of my circle, just like this. So it kind of looks like an abnormal snowman. What you're gonna do with your white paper 
is you're going to cut your white circle directly in half. So you're going to have a whole circle and it's going to make two half circles. Kind of like what we did with our ladybug yesterday. It's like the same, same thing. We cut out a black circle with a black head for our ladybug. We cut out wings, but our wings were made out of red paper. And now we're gonna take a piece of yellow paper and I want you to draw some lines on it for your children to cut. Don't mind the stripe in the middle because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. You can make that stripe in the middle, but we'll cut each line like this. And you can do four lines, three lines, whatever. What you're gonna do is when you're done, you're gonna have your child go snip and cut the, the yellow stripe right in half because we're just gonna need half stri stripes. And this is gonna be for our bumblebee. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glue stick again, and we're gonna put glue all over the middle of our bumblebee body. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put stripes on our bumblebee. So you can put your bumblebee just like this and make some stripes on it. And then what we're gonna do on the back of our bumblebee, put some glue, there we go. Put some glue on each side like that. And we're gonna lay our wings just like that. And voila, you have your very own bumblebee. Alrighty, so my friends, it's a beautiful day today. Get outside and look for some insects. Bumblebees, ants, butterflies, anything you can find, look for all those great insects. And have a great day, and I'll see you on YouTube tomorrow. Bye.